friends a heathen's take it slow Wait for them to ask you who you know Please don't make any sudden moves You don't know the half of the abuse All my friends are heathens, take it slow Yeah. Then we don't get to see Storm and her match. I love Holly Berry, but we never get to see Storm. I, I want to see the di diplomatic version of Storm. Like, I want to see her. This last Storm kind of got the look right. I like this last last actress as Storm. It was fine, but it ain't gonna get no time to develop. Right. And unless Marvel hire her, hire her up. And I wonder. I wonder if they're gonna put. Well, yeah, they can't because now they own it. I, I wonder if they're gonna bring Storm. They. Sh they. Hmm. They could, and then they'll make, um, uh, they could make the Black Panther's love interest in the first one and go crazy like she does in general, like, become that rogue spy that tries to kill him every, uh, kill every morning. Right? See, this is, the, this is the thing. If you, if you go there with the Black Panther movie, I, me personally, I would use the Black Panther movie as a vehicle to introduce a bunch of other characters, and you can introduce Storm mm. into that. And you don't even have to call her fucking Storm. You call someone else, but show the power. You can call her Aurora. And he meets this woman in Africa right. with this white hair can, and it's Aurora. I mean, they could just make it so good. You can introduce Blue Marvel. You ain't gotta call him Blue Marvel. Just say, oh, this is Dr. Bashir. Oh, nice to meet you, bro. I mean, Bam, Blue like, Marvel right in the movie. <laughs> just let him do it. I wanna see You, you can introduce the second gateway. He could be there. Who's the second gateway? Second gateway, I forget what his real name is, but he's um he's like an aborigine or whatever. Another brother. Who has these teleporting abilities and stuff like that? I know they said. Uh, I know uh, they they said that uh, they're trying. They're thinking about putting Charles Gambino in the movie for inside the Black Panther somehow. They want to do like that. Oh my goodness! I mean, we got the Prowler. Let's 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 do something with that. Let's 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 just do something with that. They have to hire him back for that shit. They well, Look, he already working with Disney, so, so, he, so he, get he, he got some he got some Star Wars money coming. He got the Lion King money coming. Oh, yeah, he yeah. already working with Disney. Disney like to keep moving moving their players around. Yeah. They keep moving their players around, so you can give them a part in this 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 new MCU. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I know uh, that uh, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar said he would like be a, like some evil sorcerer in the Black Panther movie, and I'm like, he's so weird. I've seen him act; it could work. Shit, I would get I, me personally. What would I do? Not a Blade movie. I love Blade, but I wouldn't I'd do that. If I was an actor, I'd want to be in an X Men movie. Yeah, and I want to because there's more people in it. There's more play. characters in it, and you can be anybody. And you don't have to worry about dying off. Not, not necessarily. necessarily. Not necessarily. Right. The biggest thing I would look for in this X Men movie, in the MCU X Men movies, I want a new Bishop. Give me the right bishop. Yeah, I feel like that was the waste. Give me a give me a decent bishop. Give me a better Darwin. Not that bullshit they did did because that wouldn't have killed him at all. I wanna I wanna see them. You know I'm not into like reintroducing characters. I like how I don't give a shit. Into, just drop drop people in. Like I'm glad Uncle Ben was already dead and we haven't really even talked about. Which I like because I don't need to. I, the point I'm at, I don't want to see another origin. I don't want to see another origin Batman movie. I want you jumping into the Batman it, movie. I never need to see, at this point in my, in my life, 2019, I don't need to see another Superman origin. I don't need to see another Batman origin. I don't need another Peter Parker origin. I don't need an origin of anybody, actually. I, I, Just I, give me the story. Right. Like I, I remember my, my <laughs> That'll make your first movie not so shaky and may possibly suck. And you can get to that second movie status in the first movie. <laughs> old teacher said something he was like I would love because I'm a big Nightwing fan Nightwing's one of my favorite super I movies. want a Nightwing movie and they're supposed to be making that but I don't, I don't want an origin I want you like I want you just do a that family movie in the first movie just drop these people in first movie for Nightwing movie what I, what do I want to see I want to see him in Blue Haven just going for it just going for it like who's these people running from Pink, 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 pink. And, Ricochet and, and baton. Everywhere, you know what I mean? like, the fuck? Because he's supposed to be—he's like one of the he, most loved 
superhero from all superhero. He's a super. He's a. He's like what do they say a rapper's rapper. He's a superhero superhero. Like, like, he's he's a superhero like, superhero because he has come up through the ranks as a child, grown up in this. He is vested. Right. Been on teams, like been in big man. events. He is vested. He could be Batman if you wanted to, but he wants to be himself, which means he's gotten from under being at sidekick status to, to being be his right. own yeah. hero, his own man. Let me see a Nightwing movie like that. And I want to, and I really been wanting to see Tim Drake because how smart he is. I I'd to love that. to see a Tim Drake. And his if you want was always badass. If you want to do another Batman movie, give me Tim Drake, Robin. Mhm. Mm and, let, and let that be and, and just let that be the case that right. is just Tim Tim at the end of the and second Bruce movie, at the end of the second movie then let's let, then let's maybe introduce Danny like let like give us little tidbits and stuff mm. you know give me I want I want the whole Black family in the movie so at this point I'm like nah Nightwing's in his own thing doing his own mm. thing you know what I mean Tim Drake he is my second mm. End of the second movie, we're seeing, oh no, shit, I have a son because I was messing with Talia. Well, if you don't know who Talia is, you'll see that in the third movie. We're going to keep this train going. All right. You know what I mean? Because Damien, I remember reading the introduction to Damien. I was like, yeah. You could. You could. DC could if they wanted to. They, could, they just take the risk. They just skip ahead and just do Damien showing up at the mansion. Right. And just go from there. That yeah. way, when you Ooh, when man. you in, when you start introducing stuff and figure and him figuring out with the audience that this is my father, my father is Batman, and all the rest of that stuff, then you can have Tim and Dick strolling through there. You got Oracle the or somebody. It's like, like, oh, hey, Damien, yeah. Like, and they he's meeting all these people who are already established heroes. Right. You don't need an origin from they established. Because they, cause they, cause they, cause they, they can do a Jason Todd movie, and that would. Numb. Red Hood, a Red Hood movie would be crazy, boy. Like, you don't even need to do. I would, if they did a Red Hood movie, they'd they'd sink Deadpool. Because <laughs> yeah, because I mean he's so much more violent. Because uh, he a dude. Uh, you I, let him, you you play you play. He's a serious Deadpool. You play a Jason Todd movie like they did the Punisher series, uh, where it's a dude dealing with the trauma he had already been through. And still dealing with it, and, can't and still out there doing what he's doing. Oh, I'm gonna be in the in the. They eating a popcorn bucket like, oh shit. <laughs> I, 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 you know how they're doing this new Batman, which I don't think it's going to be bad. I like the way the joke looks. Um, but I'm like... It's not connect, I, they're not connected. At all. And I wonder how that's yeah, That Joker movie and that Batman movie are not connected. And I thought this is, movie's going to be so good. It looks like I was skeptical forever on this thing until I saw an actual trailer and got what they were going for. And I thought, okay, that's interesting. Okay, I, I'd probably watch it now because it seems like something more psychological is going yeah, on. It doesn't seem like the, it's like the dude breaks and then you get him becoming the fucking yeah. Joker. Okay, yeah, I, I watched that now. Joker's in existence. We don't know who is who, don't know the name of what, but we know it's three of them. So it's like, mm -hmm. okay, this is what triggers somebody else to being the real Joker at this point. Because even if he dies at the end of the movie and somebody was watching him, or, mm -hmm. like I said, it's a, there's a, a fan of somebody everywhere. You mm -hmm. watch him and then you become that person. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we up. Yeah. Now we got the movie. And that would be possible given that they're showing him on television. Right. He's getting on a show. Right. Maybe he sparked somebody else off. Who knows? So now, we, uh, now, we're, we're, now we're finally touching the place where uh, the movie can be something now. Because mm. it's like DC did waste money. Like, oh. It's not even wasted money. I look, at it, I look at it this way with DC. DC has been doing the same two heroes for so fucking long. They're so scared of taking risks with anybody else. It's not even that they, they're afraid of taking risks because if they were afraid of taking risks, you wouldn't have the animated universe that kills. Right. You wouldn't have the animated universe that kills. You wouldn't have some of the movies that they have that that are good, not these recent ones. The problem with, with them and their DCU is that they're always trailing Marvel and they're always trying to rush to catch up with Marvel instead of running their damn race. They're not running their oh, race. Somebody else's lane came in the lane that you Get in your damn lane, drive it. <laughs> I'm like, if, you, if I was, if I was, if, I feel like they should put people ahead of sanctions, right? Keep somebody the sanction for Batman. Keep somebody ahead no. of Superman. What they need to do is what made the other two movies that they did recently a success. Take your fucking hands out of it. Yes. Get the studio to get their hands out of it and let the writers and directors do what they are actually hired to do, which is make some damn movies. Welcome to the room of people who have rooms of people that they love one day. Dr. Way.
Just because we check the guns at the door doesn't mean our brains will change from hand grenades.